your Sonoma County market report for October 2022 coming up. What's up, guys? My name is Danny. I'm Cronin. I'm a real estate agent right here in Santa Rosa with W Real Estate. If this is your very first time to my channel, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. I drop a video once a week, every single week, all having to do with living in Sonoma County. And of course, I am a full-time real estate agent. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me, call me, text me, email me, whatever's most convenient for you. All my contact information is down below. And with all that being said, let's get right into this week's video. All right. So we are pulling up some data here. Again, this is the Sonoma County market report for the month of October. So obviously we are going to be looking at September's numbers. Um, I am uh, just have the graph pulled up here and I want to kind of go through some of these slides explain some of this. Hopefully a lot of this is starting to make sense. If you watched my last market video, uh, which was last month, my market update video, hopefully you have something to compare this to. And also in all of these graphs, I'm going to be giving you some context because what does it mean when I tell you we're at two months of inventory? If you don't know what last month's inventory level was, or even a year ago, two years, whatever the case is. So I'm going to be talking you through kind of all of these numbers and what they mean. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So the first slide here, this is for sale versus sold. And again, this is data all in Sonoma County. So it's centralized right here in our county. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the first one here down below. So it's going to say, current month versus previous month. Now this is where we kind of start to get a little bit concerned and I'll explain why. So right here for sale. So these are homes that are currently for sale. Uh, this is comparing August to September. So we're seeing a 7% increase in this. Now what does this mean? This means more homes are coming on the market and are actively for sale. So I'm going to get into that a little bit further in detail when we go to the months of inventory slide, it's going to make a whole lot more sense, but going into this, so homes for sale. So there's more homes available for sale right now. Uh, if you look at sold units, now this is kind of where it starts to get scary. We're seeing more homes on the market, but we're seeing a lot less sales. So what does that mean? Obviously interest rates recently went up a couple of times. Uh, so that's definitely giving buyers not so much of a incentive to come and purchase, right? Because if it's gonna cost you more money per month, depending on what your budget is, that takes a lot of buyers out of the market. So this is exactly what we're seeing here. And to be honest, it was just kind of a, a matter of time until we saw these numbers. We've all heard about these interest rates, uh, you know, spikes, rates going up several times over the last couple of months. So this makes total sense. Homes for sale is up sold homes is down by 12.7% when compared to the previous month. And then you can see down here, pended sales. So this is homes that are in contract. Uh, so in August was 409, September is 330. So that's down 19.3%. So these are homes again in contract, homes for sale and homes sold. We're seeing more homes for sale, but less sales. So this definitely causes some concern. Uh, now moving along here, we're going to go to days on market and list versus sold versus list price percentage. So the first thing we want to look at here is average days on market. Now this is when your home goes on the market from day one all the way through when it gets an offer and it goes through escrow. So, you know, normally we're seeing about 30 days, I think is the average for Sonoma County, you know, throughout the seasons, obviously that goes up and down a little bit, but for the most part, 30 days, average days on market is pretty normal. And as you can see by looking at the graph here, that's exactly where we have been, at least for the last couple of months, early into this year, 30, 29, 29, 32. It slowly started to go up. And then recently, this last month, it jumped up from 38 to 47. So that's a 23, uh, almost 24% increase. And again, I, I think right now, it, it's an interesting time for sellers, simply because not only is it more expensive for buyers to purchase homes, 
Um, but they're definitely getting a lot more picky, right? When, when it's a crazy market and there's no inventory, there's nothing really for sale. Like what we've seen earlier this year, all of last year, there was simply nothing for sale, right? So if someone saw something that they wanted and they weren't being too, super picky about it, they jumped on it, they wrote an offer, hopefully they got that accepted and they were just happy to purchase a home, right? That was then when we had no inventory. Now the inventory is kind of coming up a little bit. And I'm seeing this too, when I'm representing buyers, people are getting a little bit more picky. They wanna get um, a few more boxes checked on their must haves when it comes to buying a home than what they usually uh, were doing the past couple of months. So interesting to see that pop go up as much as it has. 23, almost 24% is, is pretty substantial. So again, last month, 38 days was the average days on market. And at the end of last month, it finished out at 47 days. Uh, the next thing I want to look at here is the sales price slash list original list price. I know that sounds confusing. All that means is what the home was listed at and then what the home sold at. So if a home's listed for $500,000 and it sells for $500,000, it has sold for 100% of the list price. Obviously, if it sells under, it's going to be under 100 and over that list price is going to be over 100. Uh, so as you can see, kind of through those crazy months up here, average was uh, 102, 105, 105, 104, and it slowly started to come down. And recently we broke under that 100%. So that means we're starting to see a lot more homes sell for under the asking price. Now that's kind of a um, double-edged sword, right? It, it, we're seeing that happen because again, buyers are being more picky and it's costing them a lot more money to buy a home today than it did a few months ago. And also on the listing side of things, I think you really have to be careful, especially in today's market for who you select as your listing agent. If you get someone who's looking at the last six months of sales and they're comparing your home to those sales, it's not going to add up. It's not going to work simply because the market conditions were a lot different back then, right? Uh, homes were selling really, really fast. Again, buyers were not being picky. Inventory was super, super low. Homes were literally selling like that. But today's market's a lot different. Interest rates are higher. Buyers more picky. So we're going to really start to see kind of the shift in prices here. We're kind of plateauing. I, I like to think we're kind of just hovering right around still kind of a healthy market, very neutral, um, but it's a lot more expensive for buyers. So they are getting more picky. Uh, going back to selecting your listing agent, you don't want to get someone who's going to look at those numbers and just give you that price because it looks good to you, right? You want to work with someone who's going to give you the honest truth and be transparent with you because at the end of the day, when you do sell, decide to sell your home, you're, you don't want to be waiting around the market. You know, everyone's situation is a little bit different. Maybe you want to test the market. Maybe you need a quick sale. Whatever the case is, you don't want to find an agent who's just going to give you a number that they think is going to make you happy. Because to be honest with you, it's not a fun conversation to have with sellers when you look at the last six months of sales and you see how high these prices have gone. And then you come to today and we cannot look in those in the past six months to determine your price today. It's going to be a lot lower in some cases uh, than those sales that recently happened in the past few months. So something to think about there. So the um, list price percentage now is under 100%, meaning homes are on average selling for under the asking price. Again, a lot of that is simply due to agents comping homes wrong and using the past six months as an example. Um, so let's look again a little bit further down the board here. Uh, average days on market's up. Obviously we know that it's pretty much up all the way across the board, except when compared to current versus same quarter a year ago. So something to think about there, all interesting data here. It's so crazy to see how far we've come uh, in just the last couple of months. So average price for sale and sold. So this is kind of going back to what we, we, what we just talked about that last slide, pretty similar average active price, average sold price. This is again, kind of going from list price to sale price. 
So we pretty much went through all of this already, but as you can see, things are up. So compared current versus previous month is up 4.2% and it's pretty much up all the way across the board. Uh, and then something I really wanna talk about here, and I'm gonna wrap this up as soon as I get done with this slide. Months of inventory. Again, we have to use the staple and the average. So normal, uh, a normal seller's market or a good seller's market is any inventory level under five months. One month, two, all the way up to five months is normally a seller's market. And that means there's not a lot of homes for sale. So homes are selling quick. Uh, there's a lot of offers being made on those homes. So you're going to have multiple buyers coming in, you're going to have bidding wars and things are going to kind of get crazy as what we saw last year. Um, and anything five to six is pretty neutral. So it's a good seller's market and it's a good buyer's market and six months and up is going to be a buyer's market when there's just way too much inventory out there. Homes are selling for under asking. Uh, buyers are being extremely picky and can get away with it simply because there are a lot of homes for sale. Uh, so we saw a spike last month of 1.8 to 2.2. Now, don't get me wrong, and this is where I get upset at the headlines when they say um, homes, you know, inventory is up almost 30%. Well, what does that even mean? Like if, if we're up almost 30% and last year we were at one month of inventory, jumping up to almost two months of inventory doesn't really mean a whole lot, right? So we're still at an all-time low. We're definitely still in a seller's market. Um, but we are, you know, inventory is slowly climbing. And I do anticipate this to keep going up as we head into the holiday season, early next year, springtime, summertime. It's going to be interesting to see how things play out. But the market is definitely shifting here. And I hope this was a very useful uh, video to you. Hopefully you got some some value out of this. And if you have any questions about the real estate market here in Sonoma County, this is what I do. And I love to talk all about these numbers. So give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. All my contact information is down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.